Should we kill him? Should we kill him? He pines after a cute little barista. Isn't that worth a show stopping fiesta? Yeah. But for some damn reason, he won't join our singing season. What an ass! What a bitch! What a cock! <laughs> the guy who did it like musical! Did it like, did it like, did it like, like a lacombe! Did it like, did it like, did it like a lacombe! Did it like, did it not like, like a lacombe! He's the guy who did it like musical! Did it like, mobilize everything! And the words will come to you, we swear we will teach you what it means to love! Shit! <laughs> Practically no reason. She wouldn't sing for him. And I still haven't gotten my hot chocolate. Oh, sorry, I'll get right on that. I have very low blood sugar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. We'll get you a voucher. Good God! Alexa! It's happening! Come on, you bastard! You don't think I'm ready for you? I've been waiting in the wings! The stage is set! It's showtime! La di da da, la di da da, la di da da day! La di da day, la di da da! I used to want to kill them all while high on mass on zombie trucks and stacking on a dead man's face. What? But that just feels like yesterday's song takes all the pain away. My politics and house feels changed. Dancing on the concrete. Heard a lot, but now I got new feet, and this jam just way too hard.
The whole town has gone crazy. I didn't know where else to go. Emma, you've come to the right place. Hold on, I'll let you in. Alexa, open the gates. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Oh, these are my friends. This is Paul and them. Uh, <laughs> We came from downtown. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy, but everyone... Singing and dancing like a musical. They want you to join them, and once they get you, you're a part of it. Uh, yeah. How did you know? I theorized this exact scenario 30 years ago. <laughs> really? Really. Like exactly this? Exactly. That the world would become a musical. You'd better do it. God, don't tell me you brought one of them here. Oh! I told you we should have left him in the alley. You're a monster, Ted. No, he's a monster. All right, everybody, oh! calm down. <laughs> Providence has brought him to me. Quickly, cuff him to the chair. Make sure he's secure. There's no telling what would happen if he were awake and loose. I've been preparing for this day for decades. Now all of the answers are right in front of me. If only I have the wits to decipher them. Now, tell me, Emma, what on earth does that look like to you? Oh, God, um, I don't know, some kind of blue shit? <laughs> exactly, Emma! <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'll tell you what on earth it looks like. Nothing. You all remember that meteor that crashed into the Starlight Theater last night? I dare say it carried a deadly cargo, a contagious pathogen of cosmic origin. Wait a second, Doc. Don't tell me you're talking about aliens. Why is that so hard to believe? Think of all that we take for granted now that was once foretold in the pages of Bradbury and Asimov. Look no further than my robot assistant, Alexa. <laughs> Once confined to the realm of science fiction, she is now science fact. <laughs> Alexa, dim the lights. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I would have had to walk all the way to the dimmer. Now, as unbelievable as this or the outbreak may seem, the question is no longer can this be happening, but how do we stop it? I've got to get this blue shit beneath a microscope to find out what makes these bastards tick. Uh, sorry, Professor. This is a lot to take in. Uh, do you have anything to take the edge off? Like, a drink or something? <laughs> Young man. For the past 27 years, I have been stockpiling the bare essentials needed for human survival in the event of a world-ending cataclysm. You bet your ass we got booze. Come with me. Whoa. So we're going to have a little test to see who's still human and who's a musical <clears throat> doppelganger. Uh, what? I want you all to sing 16 bars right now. No, Professor. Professor, we're not aliens. Sing the beginning of Moana. What? what? <laughs> I said sing, goddammit! Uh, uh, Moana. Moana! Make way, Moana, make way! Moana, make consider way. the coconut, oh, oh, consider oh, its tree! Oh, yeah, oh, this is what we need, and no one leaves! I didn't like that movie. The circle of life. <laughs> All right. That was terrible. <laughs> Not a single one of you were on pitch, which means you're still human. These things. Their, their tactic is to hide amongst us, and as their numbers grow, they become more bold and, as we've seen, violent. Godspeed. Um, hey, Paul. Remarkable. Simply remarkable. Tell me, Emma, how do you explain an entire race of beings spontaneously bursting into song and dance? How do they all know the lyrics, the the choreography. I... I don't know. They're all getting orders from the mothership. You're not far off. What we're dealing with here is a collective consciousness. On one level, they are individuals, but on another, they are all appendages of a much larger organism, all connected by a central brain. 
And the brain came down in the meteor? Or it is the meteor. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, and so it wants to kill us all so it can resurrect us as part of its shitty musical? That's one way of putting it. You could also say it's uniting us in one common purpose. Think, Emma, if this entity were to spread to the entire planet, why, it could achieve what over 50,000 years of human civilization never could, world peace. <laughs> okay, but how do we stop it? Yes, of course. Stop it. <laughs> That's a sound theory, Emma. Which is why it must never leave this room. What? No, 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 Don't no. fight it. What? No, 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 Don't no. Don't fight it. What? No, 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 Don't no. fight it. <laughs> so, you're finally awake. Professor Higgins, what are you doing? Exactly what needs to be done. Alexa! Open the gates. Turn off the fences. Shut it all down. No, Professor, the, the fences are the only thing protecting us. Protecting us from what, Emma? From the end of the world? What's protecting us from nuclear holocaust, climate change, overpopulation, Emma? The world was already doomed. Not by them but by us. I was trying to save something that could not be saved. Until now. But before we can be reborn into a better world, first, we must say our goodbyes. No. No. Oh. Alexa. After all these years in Isolation with you as my one companion. I've, I've come to love you just as much as any woman of flesh and bone. <laughs> Which is why it pains me to have to do this. Alexa, initiate self-destruct. Uh, I don't think it can do that, Professor. <laughs> It's 2018, <laughs> and it can't even blow itself up, fucking piece of shit! Oh, God. Please, please, Professor, just, just let us go, okay, I'm man. afraid I can't do that, Ted. Don't you two see? In order for humanity to survive, it must evolve. That's what this visitor from the star has brought us. Salvation. We must join them. This is our second chance. My second chance. Professor, think about what you're doing. Emma, did you know that long before I was a biologist, I had a much truer and deeper passion? Yes, my first love was, and always will be, musical theater. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts! After examining that creature you once called Charlotte, I made a fascinating discovery. These aliens, they, they possess a highly specialized gland that allows them to communicate through rhythmic frequencies. They're drawn to music, like a moth to the flame. No, 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 no. Please, don't fucking do please. it, don't you fucking do it! <laughs> This is humanity's 11th hour. <laughs> and I've prepared something for the occasion. It's a show-stopping number, a real show-stopping a show-stopping number, come on. 
something to shock them, to bring them a crawling, a big time box office draw. With the press and the glamour, we'll kill the review spotlight on Mr. Ingenue. So fill up your tumbler, got a show-stopping number for you. Please, Professor, if they hear us, they will kill us! A show-stopping oh number is something you die for. A real catchy earwormy tune. An award-winning score. That seeps in and no. out of your pores. Oh, no. A ditty to make the chorus girl swoon. It'll unify humanity in a thundering chorus. No exits from this Broadway venue. So crash those shiny symbols. Got a show stopping him no for you. <laughs> this song's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, uh, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. <laughs> Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Fucking go for it. <laughs> it's called Workin' Boys, a new musical. It's the story of a group of old college chums, sure. They found success in the business world, but still, they long for the simpler times in that beat up old house at the edge of college campus. But those glory days, they're gone for good. Or are they? <laughs> this here, this is the title number. I'm up to my ass in shit What's this business? Markets are crashing and I'm at the edge of my wits I just can't take it when all I want to do Is spend a day with Craig And Steve And Stu And Mark And Layton And Chad and ring, ring. The phone rings. I answer it. <laughs> oh, hey, Greg. I'm swamped with business. Stocks, bonds, golden parachutes. Remember those days on the football field, Greg? <laughs> Last week feels like ages ago. <laughs> Today, after work, on the football field, the old stomping ground, eh, Greg? <laughs> Just you and me. And Steve, and Stu, and Mark, and Layton, and Chad. Five o'clock. I'll see you then, Greg. I'll see you then. you do we spend that day with steve and five o'clock can't come soon enough five o'clock can't come soon enough five o'clock can't come soon enough i can't wait to get home to my boys a show stopping number a real show stopper an aria to rule them all They'll throw us their money at full price admission. The world will come crumbling down. The world will come crumbling down. The world will come 
crumbling down. Hamilton, I move over. Your new competition's in town. Hey, Henry. <gasps> Greg. Is it really you? No, Professor, that's not Greg! In a long time. Hey, boys. You ready to toss around that pigskin? Stu, you have an age today. Can it be five o'clock already? It must be. Come on, Henry. We got some catching up. Working boys, we're out to the last The star of the show. Let him come. Word. What's the word? He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Let him come. That's right, Paul. All your best friends are here. <laughs> We're happy. Mission. Now my life is a song. Don't you want to see me happy? Is that so <laughs> chapter on? What's the only choice? Sing to survive. We must go on with the show. It's inevitable. No. To know what I want now. Know what you want now. Am I want you to join the party? Are you going to tip me? Get your cup of coffee. Look at the fun we're having already. What? The it's all there what? is and all there was. Come on. Let me pick it. Never! 